Wait, so you can kneel down and protest for the national anthem for every race in America, but you get pissed off because nobody wants to stand for the national anthem that's only for black people. So amazing. Everyone, please welcome to the show, Ty Smith. What is really on Pokeos and Pokeramas? I am Ty Smith, Model Renaissance Man. Welcome to my channel, Model Renaissance Man. If you or someone has been subscribed to my channel for a long time, double check to make sure that you are. But if you are fairly new to the channel, get an idea of what this channel is about. What do you do? Go to my channel, click on playlist. All these different things I do on this channel. See all these different thumbnails? Those are all different categories of things that I do on this channel, from comedy to cooking to DIY when it comes to fixing cars. There's a lot of things I do on this channel. So check the channel out in its entirety before you subscribe. I'm pretty sure you'll find something on here that you like. What's going on, folks and folk of the Ramas? Hey, welcome to the channel, y'all. appreciate y'all being here. Make sure you follow me up here, over there, down there, and right here. And I'm also on Twitter as the real Ty Smith, and I also have another YouTube channel called Man, Husband, and Father. So yeah, y'all, y'all all heard of this, and I'm just so thrilled to give y'all this because I think a lot of Americans, period, are getting pissed off about this stuff, black and white. So y'all already knew that in the past, um, you know, in the past Super Bowls or things like that, it started with, you know, Kaepernick uh, kneeling down, uh, kneeling down, during the national anthem in protest, I guess, to say how blacks are being treated. And um, he did that and started this whole thing, pretty much was put there to kind of divide folks. They were doing it all in protest. So now this new thing is coming about that people are kind of pissed off right now because no fans really wanted to stand for the Negro anthem. You know, lift every voice and sing. Don't know no words. Oh, Martin Luther King. Something my heart with my knees Marcus on BET. That's free. Something so rising high um, or sweet potato pie. I don't know it for real. I don't know it for real. Now, I know some people might look at me and say, you been a black man, you should be ashamed. Come on now. I don't care. I do not care. When you have, oh, you, what, 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 if you do that for NAACP things and where they got events going on where it's like a black expo and y'all sing it, I get that. But to put this out there like that, that is doing nothing more than to further divide us. To me, it's an insult. We at what we call the NFL. What is it called? National Football League, right? Oh, I'm sorry. It's the Niggies. Football League. Oh, Negro Football League, since majority of the people in the NFL are black. It's the NFL stands for Negro. The Negro Football League. That's why they wanted the Negro National Anthem song. Now, oh, I get it. Please. So you get, it's okay if a lot of black people and some of you woke white folks, if y'all kneel down on one knee during the National Anthem for all Americans, but how dare them not stand up for the Negro National Anthem? How dare them? Good. Good. The whole rhetoric behind it is to do nothing more than to divide us. Period. Period. Anyway, see if I can get y'all. says right here, Democratic congressman hits the Super Bowl fans for not standing for the Negro National Anthem. Very, very few stood for lift every voice and sing. Not a pretty picture of Super Bowl crowd, Tennessee rep Steve Cohen wrote on Twitter. This is what he said. Democratic congressman raised some eyebrows online Sunday when he took a shot at the Super Bowl crowd in Las Vegas, saying very few fans stood for singing, lift every voice and sing, calling it not a very pretty picture. Known colloquially as the Black National Anthem, Grammy winner Andre, however you say her name, performed the song as part of the pregame festivities for the Super Bowl between Kansas City Chiefs and uh, San Francisco 49ers. Very, very few people stood for lift every voice and sing. Rep Steve Cohen, Democrat of Tennessee, wrote on X, the Negro National Anthem, he said, not a pretty picture of Super Bowl crowd. Cohen represents a majority of black district in West Tennessee. Cohen's tweet drew attention online and the Democrat responded to his critics in the moment. One told him he should only stand for one national anthem, the Star Spangled Banner. But Cohen wrote back, I stand for both. And in Memphis, most do. Another told him the American 
National anthem by Francis Scott Key doesn't see color. Dems have been the front line of dividing this country with race wars. Said, well, I honor our national anthem and respect it. Okay, let me stop right there. So, Mr. Cohen, sir, did you also have something to say about the people that didn't want to stand for the national anthem? Did you have something to say about even when this stuff started to spill over into high schools where they started taking the knee during the national anthem? Huh? Did you say, did you have anything to say about that? Oh, oh, okay. Cohen replied to others who made crude remarks about his ex post as well. The decision to perform the song at this year's Super Bowl stirred debate on social media, although it's been an annual occurrence at big games since 2020 season amid the league's renewed emphasis on racial justice causes. Oh, oh, Jacob Blake. You mean Jacob Blake, they had it all on their back of their helmets when Jacob Blake was not listening to a police officer, came at the police officer, he went for a knife. Oh, you mean like after y'all all got pissed off at people like me who called out what happened to Jacob Blake for him getting shot and said he deserved it because he was trying to get them, grab a knife and all that. Y'all got pissed off at me. You a disgrace to your race. Y'all know all the cooning and the tap dancing and uh, oh yeah. Y'all was saying I was doing, but then y'all felt stupid when Jacob Blake came back and said to himself, he shouldn't have, have. He should not have done that. I shouldn't have reached for the gun. Jacob Blake said I was wrong. Oh well, uh, shut up. Anyway, critics have said that the nation has only one true national anthem, and serves only to divide races further. Which I said that earlier. Red Matt Gates wrote on his ex about the conversation he had with his wife about why they weren't going to watch Super Bowl. He said they're he said they're desecrating America's national anthem by playing something called the Black. National anthem he wrote. What if white people had one? What if what if white people had a white national anthem? I'm saying, let me stop. <laughs> oh man. Anyway, the 1619 Project founder Nicole Hannah Jones hit back at critics last month by saying the white national anthem is already played. It's not a white national anthem. It is the national anthem. Well, it ain't made for white. It's the national anthem for us Americans. The only thing y'all love doing is keeping racism alive. That's all y'all want to do so y'all can grift off of it, so y'all can make money off of it. She said it was written by a racist enslaver who believed black people were inferior and fought abolitionists in the court, she wrote. The Star Spangled Banner. The NAACP first began to promote Lift Every Voice and Sing as the country's black national anthem in 1917. Written as a plea for liberty by James Weldon Johnson, it was also a civil rights rally cry in the 1950s and the 1960s, according to the organization. In addition today, Reba McIntyre sang the country's national anthem, the Star Spangled Banner. The Post Malone performed America the Beautiful before the Super Bowl. Usher performed at the halftime show that included a slew of superstar cameos, which were all black people. Anyway, in only the second overtime game in Super Bowl history, the Chiefs rallied from an early deficit and defeated the 49ers with a walk-off touchdown pass, 25-22. Quarterback Patrick Mahomes was named the game's most valuable player. Shout out to the Kansas City Chiefs for winning that game. Ladies and gentlemen, when it all comes down to it, a lot of this woke ideology and narrative is to do nothing more than to divide us so people can come up with programs that they can go around and preach and teach you white people how to be with black people and how to kind of get rid of your whiteness, which is a complete insult. But if y'all, if we were to turn around and say, we're going to teach y'all how to get rid of niggerdom. Uh-oh, Ty, uh-oh, oh, we're going to teach y'all to get rid of niggerdom. What, what, what do you mean? The way that a lot of ghetto five folks act. And then we can also say the, the type of mindset that's in the trailer park trash. You know, like white people, y'all call y'all white folks trailer park trash. And like us, we call ours the hood rats, ghetto for the streets. You know, that type of thing. What if they was to announce that we're going to have a program to address that right there? What do you mean teaching white people that they need to address their whiteness? But then somebody would say, we need to teach black people how to address their blackness, their blackness. You know, the, 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 the Negroes, the niggerdoms, you know, niggas, you know, niggas from the hood. We need, we need to address that. All hell would break loose. All, what if they would say, we need to address the black community when it comes to the way they speak a lot of times. You know, they call it Ebonics, and now Obama would say, uh, it's, it's, not, it's, it's not really uh, Ebonics. It's just another way of speaking. It's a different dialect. So we got to make sure that we... So, all this, I did this, I don't know how and why foe did we go down there, and we so-so did. So talking like that, 
which was considered to be Ebonics. Now, Obama want to make it and said it back in the uh, what, 2012 round of time. Obama said it's just another dialect. So you can go around walking and talking and sounding stupid and, une- and uneducated. Can't even, can't even articulate real decent, basic English words. But Obama said, oh, keep it just like that because that's just another dialect of how black people speak. Okay. Anyway, y'all know I went off and la la land. What do y'all think about all this? What do y'all think about all this that went on? Personally, there are videos out there that I want to show y'all that you will be able to see black people that was at the Super Bowl that they didn't even stand for that either. Yeah, look it up. There are plenty of black people that was at that Super Bowl and during the Lift Every Voice and Sing, the black national anthem, there were black people that was sitting down and didn't stand up for it either. One thing I can tell you that I like about a lot of this stuff, people are waking up. They're done with the rhetoric. They don't care if you call them racist because they didn't want to stand, blah, 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 blah. People are done with it. Y'all, if you like what I'm doing right now, make sure you hit that like button. Make sure that y'all get in your phones. Let people know about my channel. What do you mean get in your phone, Ty? Go on your phone in your contact list. Let one person in your contact list know about this channel or whatever. However many you got in your contact list, if they got the same brain waves and they can critically think and see through a bunch of the bull crap and they tired of divide and y'all wants to be united, have them come over to this channel. There are other channels like mine that we're all on the same page with this stuff because we're done with the rhetoric. We know that America as a whole is not a racist country. There are racist people in America. They include Chinese people, black people. They include white people. They include Indians. I'm not talking about the indigenous Indians. I'm talking about the ones who talk like this. They're from India. You know, I'm talking about those. We have people here that are like that. But America as a whole nation, nah, nah, no. So if you have people that think along those same lines, let them know about this channel. Tell them to subscribe to this channel. And if this has to be the video you need to show them to see what this is about, show it to them. All right? Appreciate it. Don't forget, check me out up here on Patreon. Just $1 to join if you want to financially support the channel. Just $1, $12 a year. If you do, great. If you don't, great. Best thing you can do right now is hit that like button and let people know about it. I am Ty Smith, Modern Renaissance Man, hoping and praying that every last one of you have food, shelter, and clothing. And most of all, I pray every last one of you guys are in great health mentally, physically, emotionally, and spiritually. God bless you all through Jesus. What's going on, everybody? So, hey, check this out. I appreciate you guys watching. I appreciate you taking time out of your day to view these videos. Do not forget to subscribe to the channel, give the video a thumbs up, and also right here is where you can catch the next video, the latest video that I've done. But like right up here, this is stuff that I've done kind of in the past. So in this area, you might find a video that I've done in the past. It can be funny. It can be something serious. It does not matter. But this is something that you can also do to check out more material that I do in my channel because I do a lot in this channel, all right? So again, appreciate everything from you guys. Keep on watching it. Keep on supporting it. And God bless you all.